Hi everybody, welcome back to Catherine Sewers. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I want to show you how I teach students how to sew in a skirt zipper and then I'm going to teach you how I actually do it. So and for both of them I'm going to start off with the center back edges surged or finished however you finish your edges, zigzag or whatever. Finish that center back edge separately for your two back pieces. If you're doing a side seam zipper then the two sides would have to be finished first. Okay, so you just finish those edges. These pieces are just representing my skirt back. I'm putting my two backs right side together. I'm gonna to put a pin right below where that metal stopper is. And that is with the raw edge of the zipper tape lined up with the top raw edge of the skirt back, yeah? So it's, you've got all those raw edges lined up at the top. Good, don't start with your zipper too high or too low. That's where you want it, the raw edge of the tape at the raw edge of the skirt. Good. You'll put a pin right below where that metal stopper is. And so the way I teach my students is from that pin down, you're gonna sew at the 20 line or three quarter inch line from there down with a regular stitch length, with regular back tacks at beginning and end, just regular from that pin down. Good. So then from that pin up, you're gonna be sewing still at the 20 line or three quarter line but no back tacks and now you want to use the longest stitch length you have. So that's just a basting stitch that we're going to put in there because we're going to be pulling that out after. Good? Okay, let's do that. Good. So you can see that my two edges have been surged separately and I'm placing the pin right below where that metal stopper is going to be. So if I'm starting at the top, I want to start with that long stitch. So I'm changing my stitch length to five. So here's the 20 line way over here, and no back tack at the beginning or end. Okay, now I'm just going to cut that. And now I want to return to regular stitch, so 2.5 in the length. And now I'm going to do a back tack at beginning and end. I know this would be an extremely short skirt, but you get the idea. Once they have it sewn above the pin line and below the pin line, then I send them over to the iron to press their seam open and flat. So this is the end that has the long stitch length, so I know that's the end that the zipper is going to go in. And we're going to take that zipper and put it right side down onto that seam. And I'm just going to pick up the seam allowance only and I'm pinning it just to the seam allowance, not right through the skirt. And I'm keeping the teeth of the zipper just going right along that seam line. So my edges are not together here. I just want to keep the teeth on the seam line. You'll notice I'm pointing my pins in the direction that I'm going to start in. I'm going to start at the top and come down. And on this side, I'm going to start at the bottom and come up and again it's just lifting up the seam allowance just pinning only to the seam allowance not going right through the skirt good alrighty so now I'm going to use a zipper foot to sew this side and then this side just two layers the zipper and the seam allowance that's it so this is the zipper foot for this machine there's a button on the back to pop off and I'm going to put that zipper foot on, on the left. And just place it in place and then plunk down onto it. On my machine, I'm going to use stitch number two. When I choose stitch number two, it moves the needle over to the left. Do you see that? And I want the needle over to the left so I can be a little bit closer into the zipper. So the skirt is getting, is moving out of the way. I only have the seam allowance laying down there. So just two layers under the presser foot right here. And then the other side now, get the skirt laying out of the way and these two layers under the presser foot. Good, so now you just wanna make sure that that lays nice and flat. If you brought your edges together accidentally, it's gonna sit up 
proud it's going to be sitting up like this. And you don't want that. You'll have to undo that. You want it to be able to lay flat like this. Good. Once you're happy, flip. Good. So now I'm going to use masking tape. This is the key that just makes it so much easier for my students. The masking tape just gives them success every time. So I'm just going to cut that straight across so I've got nice right angles. Finding or feeling for that metal stopper. Double checking. Good. Good. I want the tape to go below the metal stopper. I definitely don't want to hit that metal stopper because that will definitely break my needle. The seam is centered in the middle of the tape. Good. Awesome. Okay, good. And now again with the zipper foot, I'm just going to go back to the regular machine. So right down the side of this tape, nice sharp pivot, nice sharp pivot, and come up the side of this tape. Easy peasy. The metal slider, the zipper is sitting here. And, but my zipper foot is going to allow me to sew right beside the tape. That slider is sitting there. I'm going to be able to sew around it, but it is sort of annoying that it's there. If I wanted to do, to avoid even that much of a problem, I would take an extra long zipper and have it sitting way up here. So the slider would be out of my way. So I would even eliminate this as any pitfall that my students might have a hard time with. Okay, and then you'll be cutting off the zipper after, after you slide the zipper slider down into the skirt. Don't cut it off too early. I'm not gonna have too much of a problem getting around that zipper slider. Here we go. Now try not to sew on the tape because it does make it hard to peel off. Good. Ne leave your needle down, lift up to do a nice clean pivot and come straight across. Careful there, just in case that stopper is in your way. Another nice clean pivot and come on up. Now, here's the magic. We just peel off the tape, that extra long stitch. We'll be able to just pull that right out. I could just run a seam ripper right down there and cut out those stitches, but then I'd have a million little tiny bits of thread to pick out. So I do prefer to pull out longer bits of thread if I can. Final press after you've pulled your threads out. And that's pretty darn good. Okay. That gives my students success. They feel good about that. And that it's totally functional and looks great, okay? This is a balanced zipper where it's equal on both sides. Now, for me personally, I prefer the look of a lapped zipper. I'm gonna come in skinny on one side and then up the other side with no tape, no pins, nice and fast, and with a bit of practice, it's not that hard. For how I do it myself, it starts off in the exact same way, surging both my back edges and then lining up my zipper and putting a pin right below, right below where that metal stopper would be. But I don't sew above the zipper when I'm doing it myself. I just go below the zipper, but still at the 20 line, still with regular back tacks and a regular 2.5 millimeter stitch length. There we go. So for myself, I also go right to the iron right away and I press my seam open and flat as well, but I continue that same fold right up to the top. And now here I've got a little notch at the top of my seam allowance so that makes it easy to continue that fold straight up. Good. Alrighty, so how I do it is I just start in, I'm going to take that one folded edge and put it right beside the teeth of the zipper and start with a back tack. Okay, once my back tack is done, I can organize the rest. Okay, I'm making sure that my zipper, the stopper is sitting nicely right within the opening of the zipper.
As I get closer, I want to start closing this up. And then when I'm past the metal stopper, one more stitch. Good. Needle down. Close this up before you do your pivot. Make sure this is laying nice. And then come across. One, two, three, four, five, six stitches will do. And then pivot and come back up. Okay. And I just want to make sure I'm just want this folded edge to just maybe touch the sewing line there and this is the part that needs a bit of practice because I'm just eyeballing that I also want to pick up my end here and make sure it's gonna match there it's really easy to end up way down here if you're not careful so pick it up and match it get your edge here and go slow there I'm keeping this closed here because I don't want that metal I don't want the slider to show so I'm keeping that closed good nice and fast I like the look of that better with the lap zipper it's I mean that's pretty fast and easy right it does take that little bit of practice to be able to eyeball it's basically pinky finger with the whole way up Right, but that's it's just I think it looks nicer than the balanced one um, but I do prefer the other method for my students so they get success every time this time this way you know bad things can happen so there's after the final press it looks pretty slick don't you think that's pretty nice good okay so there you go there's two different methods for sewing in a skirt zipper the nice easy balanced zipper using the masking tape to give your students success every time so if you're a student or a teacher try that out see if you like that method if you've been sewing zippers for a while you probably don't want to fuss around with masking tape you just want to get it done right so try this method of the lap zipper it really does it goes really fast and it just turns out beautifully okay good luck with that if you learned something today you gotta to hit that subscribe button thanks so much it really does help support the channel and helps bring my content to a wider audience, so I really do appreciate that. So my name is Catherine, and I can't wait to sew with you again. Take care.